What's up, guys? It is me. I'm back again. It's Thursday, July 30th. It is 3.33 p.m. here on the East Coast. Today, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware. Um, right now, I'm running on 3.35. I'll show you. Just give me a couple of seconds. This uh, PlayStation Vita I just bought from somebody within that lives in town with me. So as you can tell, 3.35. This is the PlayStation Vita Fat, which is the 1000 version. It has the memory card somewhere right there. That's the door. It has a four gigabyte, as you can tell. There's a few things I gotta do first before we start doing this. First things first is go to network. You wanna go to your Wi-Fi settings. Go to whatever connection you're on right now. Go to advanced. Go down to where you see DNS. Hit manual. So the primary DNS is going to be two one two dot dot. Two, two, nine, dot, seven, six. And that's it. So enter that in, that IP, whatever, those those numbers. Hit OK. Secondary DNS, don't worry about it, leave blank. Proxy, leave, do not use. Um, the rest of the stuff, leave the way it is. Hit OK. So you want to back out, go to system update, update using the Wi-Fi, which I'm on my home network. And there you go. It should say this. Hit OK. Hit yes. And just wait. All right, after everything's all said and done, everything gets rebooted again. Let's open this bad boy up. We're not finished just yet. Remember that DNS that I told you guys about? What you wanna do, you wanna enter in the DNS um, numbers. Keep that in there. You want to scroll all the way down to system, auto start, uncheck this so there won't be any mess ups and stuff like that later on down the road. It won't update um, your system automatically. Just definitely uncheck that. All right, time to open the browser. Enter in the Hankaku. Let's first go to settings. Let's uh, delete the cookies just to be on the safe side. Um, previous times, there would be an ever message that would pop up. 
But I'm honestly not really worried since everything else works just fine even with that error message displaying. But when you hit install, you get this message that comes up. I don't know if you can read that at all, but that's what it says. See? What you could do is you can hotspot your cell phone like I did. I tried it once again. I tried clearing the cookies. Um, I disconnected my internet, reconnected it. I'd still get this error message for some reason. I even tried to enter in hankaku.xyz slash go. I would still get it, but I don't know if you can see that. Everything's downloading perfectly fine, so um, you don't have to trust me if you don't want to. <laughs> but it, it is working now. Says in, uh, setting green Hankaku was successfully installed. And there you go, this molecular shell, which is outdated. Um, we're going to use the molecular shell just once to download um, certain files that we want. Definitely Vita shell you want to install. Um, once Vita shell is installed, you're more than welcome to hold this butt, hold the icon and delete it because we're not going to need it. But definitely use this one time only. Get Vita shell, get Enzo because we're going to be running Enzo. So the cold boot hack will work automatically. And I'm just going to show you that it installed correctly in Kaku settings. But first, let's go down to system, system info, and there you go. 3.60. The golden firmware, my friends. Enable spoofing, which is always going to be, these are going to be automatically um, ticked off. Not mad, but let's just say checked off. You're going to have to enable the unsafe homebrew. That's what it says, if you're curious. I don't know if you can read that. It's kind of blurry, I'm sure. You want to spoof the version. Bring it up to 7.3. You could change this out if you want to rock the Japanese style. So the X would be cancel and the O would be enter, which I don't like at all. And there you go. Let's reboot the device. Just for shits and giggles, fresh start and everything to show you that it worked installed. There you go, guys. You'll f once the Enzo um, plugin is installed, you'll get that funny-looking um, signs type icon, um, like that movie uh, with Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix. That's the type of uh, that's what I think of signs. So once Enzo is installed, you'll see the signs icon pop up every time you reboot your um, PlayStation Vita. There we go. Thank you very much and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Got any questions, concerns, comments, please, please ask. If I can't um, answer them, I'll, I'll be more than honest with you and say I can't answer them or I'll, I'll hit up Reddit. I am on Reddit. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.